glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness worldwide. I went into glaucoma was because I realized that th this was a disease that was a public health problem. It was a disease for which our treatments were not that good. They weren't really precision oriented to target the root causes of glaucoma. For me, that's what made this a challenge that I wanted to tackle. And that is what attracted me to the field. I wanted to do better, come up with better treatments. Glaucoma is a disease that plays out over decades and it never goes away. You have to see the end game. It's like a big game of chess and you've got to figure out what's the end game. And the end game is to prevent the patient becoming functionally blind in their lifetime. My practice is 100% glaucoma, but the majority of patients that I'm seeing have what is called quote unquote normal tension glaucoma, meaning the eye pressure seems normal, but the optic nerve is degenerating. My long-term goal in managing glaucoma patients is I don't mind losing some battles, but I don't want to lose a war. It's all about keeping people with their functional vision for the rest of their life. Trust is a huge issue with glaucoma patients. Glaucoma is a disease with no symptoms early on, or even if there are symptoms, they almost have to be pointed out to the patient because the disease is asymmetric. It affects one eye more than the other. So the seeing part of one eye covers for the non-seeing part of the other eye. We don't really have some kind of metric that the patient can use to monitor themselves. So they have to rely on the doctor to tell them. And that's an inherent trust relationship with the patient. It's a very awesome responsibility. The future is bright for glaucoma. We're gonna be able to do a blood test on people and with 85% accuracy, predict out of the womb whether or not they're gonna get glaucoma or not. We're gonna use that genetic information to come up with precision medicine approaches for each subtype of glaucoma. I guess it's fate that drives you to these things. It's fate that drives me to ophthalmology to begin with. It's fate that drives me to glaucoma. And now it's fate to go one step further to really come up with better treatments for the disease.